sessions. We are Sister Funk. We're so glad to be here. We are going to tell you some stories, play you some songs, and uh, hopefully you're sitting back, you're enjoying this wonderful night. This song is from our second CD. I wrote it about me. It's his called favorite su subject is herself. Yes, it's about me, and it's called Bad Reputation.
two sisters. And uh, we're gonna do a song about one of my favorite men. Sorry, Grandpa, sorry, Daddy, but someone has taken your place. They'll be so proud. I know, I am so sorry to say this, but it is not Samuel Adams. It is not Jove Cuervo. It happens to be Mr. Jack Daniels. And I've dedicated this song to Jack because I had one of those days where nothing could bring me up, not even my favorite song. So I sat down with Jack, we got acquainted, and out comes this called Get
was pounding with a ring of the phone. Who could it be, baby? Let me guess, wonder, is it you making excuses again? Well, I've had it done, I'm through it. I don't need anybody treating me like it do. I wanna get my whiskey on, my whiskey. Sister Funk has been doing this a very long time, about 20 years this past January, and uh, I feel honored to be playing alongside these ladies and uh, sharing some music with you. I put my toe in the water, the water's where I soothe my soul, but the people all around me, they say quick is the way to go. Move, move gently, I'm in no hurry. See me go slowly, slowly I will dive right in. Dive right in, dive right in. In my own time, I will dive right in. See me go slowly. The gray suit says, I don't want to waste your time. There's no need to read the fine print. Just sign here on the dotted line. See me look closely. I'm in no rush to use your pen. See me go slowly, slowly. by Tina and we just were the ones learning it. So I'm a child of the 80s. I don't know how many are out there a child of the 80s. Yeah. So I listened to everything from Whitney Houston to Motley Crue and ACDC to Guns N' Roses. And when I met Tina, she introduced me to Broadway theater. Yes. So here we were, choir class. You we introduced me to bands that had big hair and spandex. At the time, yes, yes, because I had myself bleach blonde hair and spandex pants, and she wore cardigan sweater, penty low for shoes, and we were like a match made in, oh, I don't even know what you want. It's not oil and water, is that what they call it? Anyhow, we got together, we met in choir class. You can keep playing, because I just love this story. 
We met in choir class, and she introduced me to Ashley's ice cream in New Haven. Oh my God, it's like the best ice cream there is, right? We're out having some ice cream. We missed our class to audition for the Choir Pops concert. So we go in the next day and we say, hey, we're here, we're gonna get our, our solo performance. And our theater instructor said, what? You're not gonna get a solo, you missed uh, the audition. So I sat there with that sad face, you know, like Tina, do something. And she said, that's okay, Professor Doc. We were writing an original song. We have never played music together, we just sang. So that, I had to think of something quick. So that night, what do we do? Went we went home, home and, and we wrote, wrote a, a song. <laughs> so that was the start of our music career. And not only did they put us in the Pops concert, it was the finale song and the entire choir got to sing and play along with us. So it was pretty amazing. That was the start to our music. So here it is. This song is from 1980s, even though it's 2019 when I wrote it. It's called It Ain't You. I'm in love with somebody, but that body, baby, it ain't you. I'm in love, I ain't lying. Come on and wake up and accept the Track me down, told you more than once it'll never ever be you and me. My friends don't want you, just stay away. You try so hard, but don't have what it takes. I'm not playing on the game. Stop wasting precious time on me. me. I've been in love with somebody. this emotional joy ride with us and uh, let's stay on the music train and uh, the first time I heard this song Tina brought it to band rehearsal I'm like oh my god it's not my favorite and every song she brings is like not my favorite I wrote um, for my dad actually uh, six years ago about my mom had passed away and uh, 
growing up, me and my sister and my parents, we would um, go for Sunday drives. Every Sunday without fail. We never really had a destination, but we'd go in the car and we would just drive. And then as we grew up, mom and dad kept that tradition. And so when my mom passed away, my dad was a little um, lost as to what to do on his Sunday drives. So it took him a little time, but eventually he thought, you know what, I need to, I need to not move on, but I need to get a Harley and have mom with her angel wings right on the back. And that's what this song's about. So he still does those Sunday drives with his Harley. Last night of time beneath the car seat I found a note saying, don't forget all the places we have seen. In that letter, I remember every Sunday drive. It didn't matter where we went, I just needed you by my side, yeah. You would wake up and brew a few cups of hot fuel. Like a picnic lunch, and then I'd hear you say, "You're right with me." Oh, until the sun goes down, yeah. Oh, right with me, cross county or into town. Oh, right with me, to the mountains or the oceans. Since then I've unraveled or I've come undone My healing heart's hard to mend Oh, from losing you so young Five days in a haze Turned to five long years Oh, feeling love's lost Time back by volunteers. Yeah. Now I look for you in every shadow. Where I see a silhouette, and I hear you say, Oh, I'm with me. Until the sun goes down. tough lately you know we got things going on in all of our lives that we have to try and stay focused and positive about my favorite color is blue 
And it doesn't look so great unless it's it next. purple. Well, it's blue purple. But for today's sake, it's blue. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Today it's blue and it matches perfectly with red, white, and blue. And which goes with this song, and that's where I'm cueing them, people. See? Because we never follow a set list, so they always wait. But anyway, so I, I'm nostalgic about this because it's another brand new song from us. We have not yet recorded this. And Tina felt like it was time for us Did. to recenter. And it's either yoga or running or something. But what she ended up doing was something wonderful. We went to a bed and breakfast as a band, and we decided we were going to center ourselves and get creative. And I wondered, how much is this costing the band, this bed and breakfast? And I found out it was very affordable, like 35 bucks. I'm like, how could a bed and breakfast be $35? I got you. I got you. Don't well, you worry. Well, we got there. Now I know why it was $35. We were staying at this beautiful farm. However, we were in the barn with the animals. <laughs> the animals and us for $35. And we had a forage for eggs in the morning. So we ended up getting our own breakfast at this wonderful place. But as we were there for the weekend, I had to embrace awesome. embrace nature, embrace the animals. They, they did bonfire. It was night. And in the morning, they did that thing called goat yoga. Yeah, I never saw that before until it was standing on my back. So during that I think weekend. I that was Kathy. <laughs> During that weekend, we were inspired. Right above our bed in the barn was this big American flag. And we just started talking about things that we were proud of to be American. And this song came together. It's called This American Life. Texas June's pride waves goodbye as she puts her on the bus for the very first time pigtails bouncing to the sound of those wheels going round oh but the thankful for all they have oh they're hopeful they are grateful
like this control. We are strong.